Okay, so we've got that all flattened back. We've put a few drops of our ultimate compound on there. Now all I'm using is a cotton rag um, to polish this. As I say, I'm doing it by hand. Um, what you want to do is when you're polishing is do it in circles, okay, because all your wet sanding has been done in straight lines. And what you want to do is kind of counteract that by doing it in circles. So you just take a hold of it and you don't have to put too much pressure on it, just fairly light. I probably put a wee bit too much polish on this actually, but it will not matter too much. And again, just be careful with your edges because when you're polishing this, you know, if you have wet sanded it quite thin, it's pretty feasible you could still go through it when you're polishing. So, so you just, if you've ever bulled a pair of boots, it's exactly the same method. Okay, just kind of small concentric circles overlapping, just keep going around. And this is why painting golf clubs cost so much money, because there's so much labour involved in doing it. A lot of people just think they're paying for the artwork and the materials, but there's a lot of labour labor involved afterwards, well before and after, the prep work and things like that as well. And that's why yeah, that bloody screw has just come out. So I'll put that there. And I'll show you just how quickly this can come up using the right things. You should see a difference in this pretty much straight away. As you, what I'm doing down here is I'm just going straight over the letters as well because I will have sanded them ever so slightly uh, when I was clearing the uh, flattening in the blend down here because it just kind of blended in further down. As you can see there already, that's starting to come up. Now it's a long way before it's perfect to where we actually want it, but um, that just gives you an idea of using the correct products that it uh, can happen pretty damn quick. But see, that's just the first initial shine. There will still be a lot of fine scratches in this that we will need to take out before it's perfect and on its way to the customer. Right, I'll crack on with this and I'll show you it once it's done. Okay? Okay, so that's it all polished and finished up. And that was using our two different compounds, uh, the finishing polish, and it's had a final coat of carnauba wax, just to protect the paint job on it. So I don't know the conditions that will be getting used, but I presume it will be only in decent weather. But I think you'll agree that's turned out really, really nice. Um, customers absolutely delighted with it. So I'm going to get that packaged up and sent off tomorrow for them for this tournament.